Hi guys, Commerce with Mac here today to explain about Edexcel, AS and A-level accounting. So most of the students need to know this before they start the particular subject and having a subject knowledge is very important for you to score better in your exams when it comes to Edexcel. So when you choose this pathway, you need to know the components and I'm going to explain this. Watch the full video and one thing you need to do, subscribe to the channel so I can teach you more commerce related contents in future. So now the first thing I want to say, so I have two books uh, for your A-level. You have two books. A's level is what we say accounting student book one and A-level you have student book two. So I'm going to speak about student book one here. So you can see here. And moving on to the uh, contents, I want to say you one more thing. Uh, this particular PDF which I'm referring in this video can be downloaded under the description below. So this is sample content. If you all need the textbook of this particularly, you need to subscribe the channel and you have a description below. You should click that link and then you need to say that I have subscribed. So I will share the textbook to you personally. You can download it. Anyway, so moving on to the point. So these are the chapters you need to know. From O level, if you are coming to AS level accounting, 60% or maybe 50% of your O level knowledge is again uh, revisited because most of the students who are doing accounting, they do not go through O level. They sometimes directly take A levels. For that, students who are done O level accounting, for them it will be very easy on the first few chapters. So you can see unit one has six chapters starting with role and purpose of accounting, double entry system, double entry system two, accounting concepts and conventions, capital expenditure and revenue expenditure, non-current asset depreciation. And on the other side, they also have control procedures, uh, control procedures, a second component, trial balance, control accounts, correction of errors. And then they have financial statements of organization. Uh, these are the chapters you need to know. The seven chapters on the financial statement of organization, starting with financial statement of sole traders, year in adjustments, departmental records, incomplete record, partnership, clubs and non-profit non making organization manufacturers. So most of, of the time you need to know if you are a student who is coming from O level to uh, A level, then of course these might be very uh, new for you, year in adjustments, departmental record and also most probably clubs and uh, non-profit making organization because you have not studied those components. Of course, you have learned partnership. Of course, you have learned financial statement. Of course, you have learned manufacturing accounts. You don't want to worry about that particular area. And then if you see here again uh, on component four, you have introduction to costing, valuation of inventory, labor cost, overhead cost, job costing. So all these are new thing to you if you are a student who is just after your O levels. So analysis of statements, you know how ratios work. So a bit more extra ratios are added into this particular uh, syllabus. And then social and ethical accounting, you have one more chapter about what ethics you need to follow when you are going through accounting. So then we move on to the A-level syllabus comprising the AS level syllabus. A-level syllabus uh, is, uh, you know, we say it as unit two. So unit one is paper one. In your uh, AS level, you have only one paper and in unit two, you have an, only one paper. So you have, you have only two papers. AS level carries a hundred mark paper. So that will be converted to 50. Again, A level will be converted to 50. So finally you get a hundred mark evaluation marks. So you need to know this because this is very important for your score. So you need to, you have limited companies, financial statement of limited companies, capital structure of limited companies, merger of purchase of limited companies. Now this company accounting is very new for the students. Uh, and if you are from on O level, you will never study this. In A level, you need to study because it's a very big, huge component. Investment ratios, uh, you need to know what type of ratios, how investment returns you get, all those things you should be able to explain. And then statement of cash flow, another new, everything is new in this particular A level syllabus. Budgeting, standard costing, project appraisal, break even analysis, and then marginal costing and absor absorption costing, information communication and technology. You might see that the chapters might be less compared to the previous ACE level. Only 11 on an ACE level, you have 22 because they are revisiting and recapping the things what you have learned. But in your A level syllabus, they are directly moving on to new different topics and they will go deep into those content areas. So I hope you guys learn out of it from unit one and unit two. Go to the description, download the sample if you want the contents. If you want the textbook, go to the link, subscribe the channel, go to the link and say that I have subscribed and you can, you get the authorization to download the textbook. See you guys in another video and help you out a lot. So I will be posting economics and business studies very soon. Have a nice day guys. Thank you.